Mrs. Lumama Topista has been the chairperson of Mbazi Farmers Association, one of the many forest user groups in the project area since its establishment five years ago. Forming such groups is one of the major outcomes of the ACM methodology, which, amongst other attributes, has built the leadership and communication skills amongst the communities. <laughs> Her day begins with tidying up the home and watering her tree nursery bed before embarking on other household chores, amongst them training her colleagues on how to nurture trees. She gives them tips on how to start alternative sources of income, such as backyard gardening, to, amongst other things, relieve pressure off the forests. Using her own example, she inspires the women to save however little earnings they get from the small enterprises they are undertaking so that they can buy their own land to start tree farming. Tapista has since declined another term as the group leader for a new leadership role as a community farmer trainer within her village and beyond. After Tapista, Mbatu De Justin took on the leadership of Mbazi Farmers Association. <laughs> In the recently concluded 2016 national elections, Mbatude stood for a competitive political office at the sub-county level as a woman councillor to be part of the decision-making processes to ensure that all gender issues are well taken care of. <laughs> Within the period of study, a total of 36 women as compared to 31 men have been able to ascend to positions of leadership in the forest user groups. Of these, four women are chairpersons of the groups 18 have graduated to compete for elective political offices in 2016. <laughs> If scaled out therefore, ACM will build the capacity of more women to take on leadership responsibilities at various levels so that they can participate in decision making and the overall management of forestry resources.